think of me as a thought. The church perfecting a ministry. All right. The church perfecting a ministry. All right. All right. Amen. Amen. And I believe that Shady Grove has been striving to perfect her ministry for a mighty long time. As yeah. So my mission. The writer of Hebrews is telling his audience to leave the principles of the doctrine of Christ. Yeah. There are some things that we as believers, as the church, are going to have to leave. That's right. uh-huh. We, even though we believe in the same things, there are some things that other churches practice that Mount Mission might not practice. Yeah, that's right. right. Yeah. <laughs> Shady Grove practices washing of the feet. Well, but we at Mount Mission, we, we don't practice that. Well, yeah. but that but that doesn't make us not family. Right. That doesn't yeah. make us not part of the body of Christ. That's right. Because, right. because they wash feet and, and we don't. Yeah. I mean. But there are some things that we all, as the body of Christ, must believe yeah, man. and must accept. Yeah, okay. yeah. Right. There's some fundamentals, some foundation that yes, we must all have in common. Yeah. Oh. All right. all. And if we don't believe these things together, uh, the fellowship wouldn't there be no unity yeah, in the man. fellowship. That's yeah. right. yeah. The church perfecting of ministry. Yeah. Uh, the, these things that we must believe in as a body of Christ, one is the divine creation. Yeah. Mm -hmm. One is the verbal inspiration and inerrancy of scripture. All right. Yeah. One is the virgin birth of Christ. Yeah. His deity. Yeah. His substitutary atonement. Well. Yeah. His bodily resurrection yeah. and physical return. Yeah. yeah. And the existence of a literal heaven and hell. Right. If we don't believe this other church, the, the unity, the fellowship won't match up. That's right. The balance will be uneven. That's right. But these are some foundational things that we must believe and yeah. must trust yeah. Yeah. and must accept as the body of Christ. Amen. Amen. Yes. But the writer says, leaving the principles of doctrine of Christ. Let us go on to perfection, not lying again the foundation of repentance from dead works, and of faith for a God, and a doctrine of baptism, mm -hmm. and a lying on the hand. Yeah. As believers, these things is our foundation. Yeah. But a foundation is built to be built upon. Yeah. Right. right. Yeah, so, so we soon have to leave the principles of Jesus Christ. Yeah. Not saying that we are abandoning them. Right. I think we are forgetting about them, but but we must step out and yeah. build the walls on the foundation yeah. right. that Christ has laid for us as the body of Christ. Right. 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 Mm -hmm. On the way here I asked my son, I said, what does the word perfection mean to you? He said working to be perfect. Yeah. And, and I and I think that was a good good Definition for the message today. Yeah. Perfection working to be perfect. Yeah, yeah. Good. The writer said that we must leave the the lying on of, of hands and the repentance from dead works and faith toward God and of the doctrine of baptism and yeah. the laying on the hands and the resurrection of the dead and eternal judgment. Mm -hmm. And and this may sound that that we're getting out of hand, but but we have to leave these things in order to grow. Yeah. Well, yes. In order to add the foundation. Yeah. To build the wall. Yeah. yeah. And to add the roof. Yeah. Right. And to add the, the, the chalices and, yeah. and all that. Yeah. In order that that they may stand on the foundation yeah. which Amen. is built on Jesus Christ. Oh, right. Amen. Amen. <laughs> and he says that, and this will we do if God permit. Yeah. Only if God permit the church to do these things yeah, that we can do it. Yeah, right. And he being the God that he is, would have allowed us to build a 
upon this foundation. It says, for it is impossible for those who were once enlightened and have tasted the heavenly gift and were made partakers of the Holy Ghost. Yeah. It don't take but one time for to taste the goodness of God. You don't have to taste it the second time. Yeah. The first time it should, should turn you around. The first time to make us praise and worship God. Yeah. 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 He only needed to go to the cross one time for me. Yeah. 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 And it, it'll put him to shame if I ask him to go back and be crucified the seventh time. Yeah. Yeah. But it says that for it is impossible for those who was once enlightened and have tasted of the heavenly gift yes. and were made partakers of the Holy Ghost. Yeah. Yeah. The church perfected her ministry. Yeah. If we find ourselves going back into our old way, yeah. it might be that we haven't been enlightened by the word of God. All right. All right. All right. Because I can tell you, once you have tasted his grace yeah. and his goodness yeah. and have been partakers of the Holy Ghost, yeah. there is nothing that can turn you around and make you go back and do the same that you want. Yeah. Yeah. For Jeremiah says, it's like fire in my bones. Yeah. Somebody said, it's like honey to my mouth. Yeah. When I received the word and received the Holy Ghost, it made me a new creature yeah. in Jesus Christ. The yeah. so old things were passed away and everything else became new. Yeah. Yes, sir. And have tasted the good word of God and the powers of the world to come. All right. Talk about heaven. Yeah. When we have tasted, have got a little taste of heaven. Yeah. Down here on earth, yeah. there's nothing that can turn us around. Yeah. Because it's good for the soul. Yeah. We have tasted the goodness of Jesus Christ. Yeah. But we can't we can't stay on this foundation. Amen. We must continue to grow. That's right. Verse 6 of Hebrews 6 says, if they fall away to renew them again <laughs> into repentance. Yeah. Seeing they crucified to themselves the Son of God afresh. <laughs> and put him to an open shame. Yeah. We have to be careful on, on continuing to get baptized time after time yeah. after time. Well, I want to get baptized again to, yeah. to start over, to, to, I, to make sure my salvation is true. Yeah. <laughs> I, 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 but once you have been baptized with the Holy Ghost, yeah. Yeah. And we'll fight. There's no reason, no need to be dipped in the water. Well, I heard that, that if you continue to be dipped, you 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 you, you go down the dry bill and come up a wet bill. But I want to tell you that, that when you are baptized with the fire yeah. and with the Holy Ghost, there's yeah. no need to continue All right. to be baptized in water time and time again. For it says that you put him to an open shame, yeah. saying that you need Christ to go back down yeah. to the grave. Amen. To be whipped all night long once again for me, yeah. and to be pierced again in the yeah. side for me again, yeah. and to be resurrected again on the third day. But, yeah. but it only took Christ one time to be resurrected, yeah. that we may have a chance to live true life. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Yes, sir. The church perfecting her ministry. Yeah. And one of the key verses that I want to come upon before we go to 2 Peter chapter 1 is verse 9 of Hebrews 6. It says, But beloved, we are persuaded better things of you. And that better things of you and things that accompany, accompany salvation, though we speak, though thus we speak. So that lets me know that there's some things that must accompany salvation. Yeah. Yes, sir. 